bases. So this is an everyday thing for us, Dave. And Molly, Oregon coming into tonight got here about 45 minutes before tip. They were staying out in Torrance, and it took them well over an hour to get here as Brooks starts the game barely raising the rim with a three-point drop. The players, everybody, they want this spotlight. They want this electricity here. It's fantastic that Magic and Mitch Kupchak and all the other guys from the highest level of basketball are here tonight. What could be better? Here's T.J. Leaf, one of the guys we didn't mention in the Open, but he's a terrific freshman, leading the Pac-12 in shooting, fifth in rebounding and scoring as well. Oregon has to get a great offensive start. And they do with Tyler Dorsey. Dorsey hit and miss. He's had some great games like Arizona when Whoa. he was 6 of 6 from 3 the other night. At Washington as well, terrible pass, Lonzo Ball. And here's Bell, the Long Beach native, gets the back. spots. He's got 40 family members. And by the way, the foul was on Lonzo Ball. That's important. Steve Alford wants him to play 36, 37 minutes in this game. Why not UC 40? UCLA number two in the country in scoring. Oregon, Oregon is terrific defensively. One of the tops not only in the... What's wrong with that? Here's Hamilton on the drive. And there's Welsh with the follow. Welsh was great in the first meeting in Eugene. Scored 20 points a season high. That was Welsh's first game back after being out with a, a knee injury. He's doing fine right now. The team's best free throw shooter as well. Here's Bell and Brooks. An open look. You got to get out on him. Leaf was late, and Brooks makes him pay with a triple. Not late. He rotated defensively. It's a tough matchup for Thomas Welsh, the way that Jordan Bell has been able to develop as a great offensive player. UCLA looks confused offensively. Here's Leaf that's for a, three. That's a very tough shot. Rebounded by Dylan Ennis, who's a very important player on this Oregon team. He's the leader. He's the emotional guy. He's the stability, the rock of Gibraltar. Oldest guy in the history of the Conference of Champions. Ennis played at Rice and at Villanova before coming to Oregon. He's from Canada as Brooks misses. Welsh with a clear. UCLA's defense is already infinitely better than it was against Arizona. Wow. What a whooping that was by the Wildcats. There's Hamilton with the basket. But one of the things UCLA is doing differently, when they go zone, they'll have Lonzo Ball up top. They were not doing that earlier. Right now they're in man with Ball defending Peyton Pritchard. And one of the advantages that gives you is length up top so that they can't just see over the top and pass wherever they want to. UCLA has to get the ball to T.J. Leaf at the high post if they're going to be successful in the set offense tonight. Great ball movement by the Ducks. Ennis is shooting the lights out in conference play better than 50% from three-point land. Dylan Ennis got the, the braids through his hair. Oh, turnover. The okay. game is going to be won by getting up and down, guarding somebody, making shots, grabbing rebounds. Hamilton with back-to-back -back baskets. That's a three-pointer. UCLA has so many different weapons who can score in such a variety of ways. And when Isaac Hamilton is on fire, a tripping violation. That's because they saw the flop. There's Welsh with the swat on Bell. Dylan Brooks is not a flopper. He's a champion. He's growing up as a young man here. He's done a great job of building a life for himself. So stay off him, please. By the way, if you want to see my eyes rolling... You can actually see it on ESPN3 in the Watch ESPN app. We actually have a behind-the-scenes camera where you can watch my reactions to Bill's. Uh Five ceremony with Dick. Jamal Wilkes and I are going to be out there on the court, and Dick will be joining us here in the second half. I'll ask Dick, as Brooks misses, how he ever survived and what his psychiatric bill was when he worked with you. Uh, in those days, I could not speak. And he liked me a lot better then. So the bill wasn't great, that much then. Great defense by Tyler Dorsey. Hamilton from the corner. He's got the hot hand, but misfires there. Pritchard Peyton, almost traveled. Peyton Pritchard, just an outstanding player. The only Oregon native on this entire roster for Dana Altman now in his seventh year. Beautiful oh. move by Pritchard, who is a freshman and was big in the win against UCLA at 15 points up in Eugene. This is a great start for the Ducks. Exactly what they needed. Give them the confidence to come in here, play the big road game. It's the most experienced and veteran team in the entire game. He's number two in the country in assists. As T.J. Leaf gets to the rim, they ruled it was a two by Hamilton, so now it's 13-8, Oregon. 
when you talk to Lonzo Ball about his favorite players, <laughs> LeBron James. You know, it's a whole new generation out here. Chris Boucher into the lineup right now. T.J. Leaf so critically important. His matchup here with Dylan Brooks. Here's Boucher for three. Air wow. ball. And here comes UCLA. Boucher has to have a monster game. Here's Hamilton. Can't get the three. There's Wells for the offensive rebound. Throws it up for grabs as he was falling down. Boucher does not have the experience of playing all these huge games. Dylan Brooks has been playing his entire life. Thomas Welsh is to gimmicks, to double teams. They can just flat out say, I'm guarding you here, and there's nothing you can do about it. Wow, deep three by Dylan Ennis, his second three-pointer against Arizona. He took one shot. Every game, he does what's necessary, whether it's scoring or setting up his teammates for Oregon to win. Even though he comes from a basketball family, he's the older one of the, all the boys that play basketball from the Ennis family. Two-pointer by Holiday. Aaron Holiday has been one of the best reserves in all of college basketball. A guy that started every game last year. They asked him to come off the bench when Lonzo Ball came here. He's accepted his role and he's thrived. Tough, fierce, can do everything. Tyler Dorsey, got to come and deliver some offense. And he does, a two-pointer there for Dorsey, his second basket. And Casey Benson up, forcing the ball out of Lonzo Ball's hands early. Here's Leaf on the drive, offensive. Off the 18 to 10, Oregon in front by eight. Six and a half minutes gone by. Here's Brooks, goes right at the defender. Oh my goodness! Just rips the rim, smashes now, it down. Now that's a champion, but don't respond to that, Dylan. Just let it go like that's what I'm supposed to do out here. He went, came running down the court and went right over and got in Magic's face. Said, yeah, we're here to play from Eugene. There's Ball with a beautiful spin and finish. He is electric with the ball in his hands. Terrific play by Lonzo Ball for his first points of the night. Oregon's set offense has been so good, the Bruins have not been able to get out in transition. Here's Dorsey attacking and hits it swatted. EK, send it back. Eddie Bogu. Hamilton, and this will be a blocking foul. I think it's still wide open. <laughs> T.J. McConnell all year long, and then on the last day, they gave it to Joe Young. I was with you on McConnell. I agreed with you, but well, Joe Young had a terrific year. No, way. we don't want to take away from Joe Young or Oregon. But all the games I did, T.J. McConnell was clearly the best player. Bill, so here's that zone with ball up top, something that Steve Alford has adjusted since the first meeting late December. Great pass, Casey Benson. Dorsey nails a three, seven points for him. Casey Benson is going to go down as the winningest player in the history of Oregon Duck basketball. That title currently held by Jonathan Lloyd. Remember the little man, the little big man. But Casey Benson, when all is said and done, he will be the one guy with more victories than any other Duck in history. Congratulations, Casey. Hamilton tries to alley it to Ani Bogu, puts it in. Yeah, and Dana Alden saying Ani Bogu grabbed the rim to keep himself up there, and that's a violation, a technical foul. Ani Bogu, a guy that is getting a lot of attention now from the NBA folks. He's, he's a not, freshman from Corona, California. But he's not right yet. You know, his, he missed the first five games of the season with a knee surgery in October. Missed a game last week in Washington State with that same sore knee. And, but as you would say, Bill, he's a winner of the genetic lottery, and that's what the NBA people love as well. Yeah, it looked like a foul as Boucher hit the deck. Gigi Goldeman comes over. They rule it a block. Dane Altman can't believe it. Great recovery, Tyler Dorsey. If you're the Oregon Ducks, ignore the refs and just keep playing and attacking that rim every time. Boucher's got to finish. He missed again. And here's Great ball. pass. Terrific outlet to Hamilton. Boy, bad miss that time. Maybe the moment too big for UCLA here. Pritchard for three. Off target. Look at Tyler Dorsey. Yeah, come on. What do you say? Steph Curry. But he's not little. I mean, Steph yes, is bigger is. than you think. He's 6'3", but he's not 6'3". He's gotten a lot thicker. He's maybe Although, five You know what? Maybe Russell Westbrook. Russell might be smaller than Steph Curry. He's 6'2", six, 6'2 two, six, two and a half. So it's either Westbrook or Curry. Kidding. Well, you said Draymond Green was 6'4 last year. You're out of your mind. He's like 6'8, 6'9. Everybody under 6'10 looks exactly the same. Dorsey fouled by Gov. Their 11th championship.
That was against Missouri. Dorsey at the line, and the lead is 10. For I was surprised how far Bill Russell was down that list. By the way, UCLA without an assist. They lead the nation in assists, but they don't have any so far in this game. And they've got the big promo going on here tonight. Lonzo Bell dropping dimes. Honey Bogey went for the dunk. Again, no foul call. That's okay. Let them play. They're not dirty players here. Well, let them play unless there's a foul. Then blow the whistle. Here's Brooks for three. On the money. Dylan Brooks has taken over this first. The last two weeks for Oregon. They lose to Colorado, barely beat Arizona State, then beat Arizona by almost 30, and they're leading by 13 tonight. They basically led by 40 in that game against Arizona, and now Oregon is looking just absolutely spectacular. What, in, in the head-to-head -head series between these two great schools, UCLA has a, basically a two-to-one lead over time. But Oregon has won the last three. Throw it down, what a pass. Jordan Bell, my gosh. Soul Train, JB, delivering. He's the heart and soul of this team personality-wise. Dylan Brooks is a very quiet guy. Has the headphones on, really focused into the zone. Jordan Bell on the team bus, which must have took an eternity to get up here from Torrance in the rush hour here. What were they thinking? Didn't they matter, though. Him? They barely got well, to look, shoot around, but it didn't matter. This game is a long way from being Well, just the, the fact that it didn't matter is, is the way oh they're shooting God. the ball here to start is Bell connects again. They're shooting 55% from the floor, and they lead by 17 over the number 10 team in the country. And they're playing great defense. What confidence. Dana Altman, the ability to develop players. Deep three from Ball is on target. Remember, that's 59 threes for Ball, who shoots in the mid-40s percentage-wise. Oregon had that game in complete control early on up at Eugene. And then Lonzo Ball just took over from three-point land. Richard can't answer. Ball up high for the rebound. Great extension on the closeout by T.J. Leaf. Another chance for Ball. This one too strong. Peyton Pritchard continues to excel in every aspect of the game. Both of these teams, they pass the ball. Great defense there. Oh, Boucher, man. Chris Boucher, senior from Montreal, is one of the top shot blockers in college basketball, can also score inside and out. But he doesn't do it every game. Right. And that's the next step for him. Boucher again. Now he's in the rhythm now. Come back to him. He's made a long jumper. He's made a post-up move. Milk that hot hand, give him the confidence. Seven-man rotation here for Dana Altman. They really have seven starters. Casey Benson and Boucher have both spent major times during their careers as starters for Dana Altman. Brooks, a deep three-pointer. Almost banked it in. Rebounded by Welsh. I don't think that's what Altman wanted there. Holiday gets a look with Whoa. Ball finding him. Way off in the three, still no, make that one assist. Now, UCLA did have a, an assist a couple possessions ago, but just one assist. Oregon has seven. So they lead the nation in assists per game. They lead the nation in total assists. They lead the nation, UCLA does, in assist to turnover ratio. And here they are being forced to play one-on-one -on -one basketball, not the strength of their game. But now the Ducks seem to have just slowed down a little bit here. Boucher from the corner, that's his spot. Switches home a three. It's a 19-point lead. The Bruin faithful just staggered here. That's six three-pointers for Oregon. Has, UCLA has 18 points. Holiday able to answer from three-point range. This is Dick Enberg night, please. It was like when UCLA lost to Arizona when they honored Kareem at halftime for his Presidential Medal of Freedom. That's just inexcusable. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Boucher again, this time short. Rebounded by Holiday. Oregon keeps getting back, and that was what Dane Altman told us at Shooteron. If they get back in transition against UCLA, they'll be in good shape. Here's Ball. Great defense, Dylan Brooks. Dana said today, to his credit, look, we came off a perfect game. If we don't have it tonight, that's our own fault. We have no excuses. We're coming in, we're healthy, we're ready, and they have delivered. Dana is not a guy who ever makes excuses. He was hired by Pat Kilkenny seven years ago, just before the opening of Matthew Knight Arena. And the Ducks have never looked back. Greatest seven years in their program's history. A history that has three Hall of Famers. Laddie Gale from the Tall Furs, 
Howard Hobson, the coach, and then Phil Knight, most important man in the history of all sports. Alford with a three. Bryce Alford, one of the top three points. When I got Red Hour back and Larry Bird on the phone, they said, yeah, come on, we'll take you on our squad. And it was fantastic to play against Magic. What a competitor. What a spirit. What a force of nature. Thank you for your life, Magic. Offensive foul. And UCLA's press has really caused the Bruins a ton of trouble. Why is Lonzo Ball out of the game? Because I told you, Steve Alford said he's not going to play 40 minutes. By the way, that's the first turnover of the game by Oregon. Holiday with the left hand. Yeah, Tough first shot by Aaron Holiday. First turnover in 30 possessions. That's the perfect offensive basketball that we're coming to expect. We saw it in Maui against UConn, the third game. Dylan Ennis, can he get it back? No. And Holiday with the rebound, a chance for UCLA to get it to single digits. Here's Hamilton out of control, but Olford cleans it up from the corner. Bell, no. Hamilton rebound. Who can create offense for the Ducks? Who can make a defensive stop? Who can push this crowd back into their seats? Alford! No, but a foul! Alford's a champions over the top spectacular. He is here in attendance tonight. Took the after Is that whoever wins the way to that title and hopefully the highest seed, which will then get him Sacramento, San Jose, Phoenix for the NCAA title. This crowd is electric right now. 14 straight UCLA points, but Dorsey puts everybody in their seats with a battle. The game's end the parade at the same time. Getting back into the game here. They're not better without him. No, but they're playing well right now. Good well. Lee, Bogu with the slam. That is UCLA at its best when they're not fast-breaking with Lonzo Ball. Ty, uh, TJ Leaf at the high post. E.K., who has regressed with that knee problem, just playing 18 minutes a game, his breakout game against Kentucky at Lexington. Great. Bell with the put down. What Off the Dorsey miss. <laughs> you did not play with great guard, please. <laughs> a year after UCLA's last championship. A year before Arizona championship in 97. Great defense, Peyton Pritchard. You know somebody who they won the championship. How about UConn as a... Uh, down. UConn going for number 100. They have SMU first, then South Carolina Monday at 9 going for their 100th straight win. Here the Bruins within 5 again. They trailed by 19 earlier in the half. Bryce Alford has 12 points. Congratulations, Gino. Go for 200. Go for 200. I don't know if he's going to coach that long. Ennis, another basket. This is a two-pointer. He has eight points. Well, the Ducks are doing exactly what Arizona did. Uh, whoever, whoever Bryce Alford guards, spread the floor and go, go to the basket for a layup. Howdy, Bogu! Oh, missed the dunk. Jordan Bell should not play in front of E.K. Honey Bogu. Hard to get around him. Here's Pritchard. At some point, somebody's got to shoot that ball from the perimeter. You just can't keep this... Foe weave here. And he's inconsequential pump face. I think it's a real weave, not a faux one. Shot clock is three. down. Bell missed the layup. And look at Pritchard, the smallest guy on the floor for Oregon. And Steve Alford is irate that nobody blocked him out. <laughs> Everybody was shocked that Jordan Bell missed that little triple right. I mean, that little layup right in front of the basket there, please. Jordan's parents are here tonight. Carolyn and Craig came up from Long Beach. Five of his siblings are here. Boy, bad defense by Oregon. Just let Jordan uh, Isaac Hamilton go right to the rim. That's what happens when you got a guy who can play the high post offensively because Jordan has to come away from the basket. Pritchard again, back-to-back -back buckets in the lane for a guy that normally camps out on the perimeter and drains three. But in high school, he was basically Jimmer Fredette, Pete Maravich, and Dantley Walker.
and you know he's had to play a much different role here up at Colorado when Oregon inexplicably lost didn't bring the offense at all he was the guy that carried him after Dylan Brooks couldn't get a thing done and got in foul trouble holiday three no good Look at Jordan Bell just pushing everybody out of the way I love guys that fight for that ball that was Magic Johnson underneath the hoop Bell with seven rebounds already he averages eight per game Oregon Holding for the final shot of the half. Give it to Dylan Brooks and let him drive to the hoop. Or Tyler Dorsey, one of the two. Dorsey to Ennis, three, ball, no. Bell did not get it off in time. Oh. At in any sport that I called, I think it was the platform from which college basketball's popularity rose into the stratosphere. Dick, you've obviously done some great games recently as well. What's it like to be here and watch this UCLA team? This is the best Bruin team they've had in a while. Hey, how about that for a tip? Oh, my. Thank you. We've been waiting for that. <laughs> they got to get Leaf and Ball going here in the second half. Well, Bill was complaining that Ball was on the bench, and when he complained about it, they went on a 14 to nothing run. Why take your best player out of the game? Well, they went on a 14 nothing run. These guys can't miss. There's another from outside. That's Dylan Brooks. What a good team, Oregon. Dick, yeah, Magic Johnson's here tonight. You called his game 25 years ago today in Orlando. The oh my, the jumper with 14 and a half seconds to go. Your memories, please. Oh, yeah, they stopped the game after that. It was right in line with our broadcast uh, position in Orlando. And, of course, he, he had announced that year of HIV, and we were all... Any fees. Next when you question. Did. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, I've still got my lucky coin. Remember, Wait. remember the coin from the. We, oh, look at be, books again. We'd be going to the games, and we'd have John Wooden on the phone, and oh my oh, yeah. gosh. Yes, yes. You know, I, if I were home right now, I'd say, get that bloke out of here. This is a big game, UCLA, Oregon. We don't need to hear about his history. That's not true. You're yeah, Dick yeah, Enberg. Yeah. Well, let's keep it going here. <laughs> Thomas Welsh with the basket. How much do you follow college basketball? I'm Quite a bit. Yeah, I, I try to catch, uh, especially UCLA. I live in San Diego, so I follow the Aztecs, San Diego State. They're having an offseason this year. But a great coach like Wooden, Steve Fisher, who's got a lot of talent. Dylan Brooks for three. He's got Amazing. seven points here already in the second half. He uh, was the one to hit uh, the buzzer beater up at uh, Eugene, right? That's right. Won the game 28th. Dick, talk about the UCLA legends Kareem and Sidney Wicks. Well, they were, you know, you excluded yourself there. Wicks is here. There's a good leaf is from San Diego. Right. I hope he can stay around another year. Unfortunately, a lot of these UCLA players are so good. I hate that one and done business. You never had that option. And that's why we had teams uh, at UCLA that continued to win titles. Here's Bell. And he's fouled by Thomas Welch. Eight, and they're three of three here in the second half. Well, it's still available, I guess. Uh, right, there you go. Couple of misses. Now can they convert a three at the other end? Ball isn't shooting enough. They've done a good job of defending him tonight. They haven't been able to get in transition. They haven't been able to get the running game going. Oregon is too disciplined. Here's Leaf on the drive. Boy, it looked like there was contact. Yeah. Let him play, please. The two play-by-play -play guys say it's a foul. We overrule you. <laughs> you can leave any time. Look at that. <laughs> Dorsey for three. <laughs> Not Dick. <laughs> yeah, I know. I knew who you were talking about. <laughs> you didn't have to qualify that. Thank you. Yeah, Dave, I just saw her stand up on her own. She is conscious. She walked off under her own power. Just an unfortunate situation. Okay, but that's Thank great you, news. Molly. Thank Say you a the prayer. Update. Light a candle for that young angel from UCLA. Look at Jordan Bell fight for that ball. How about Oregon's defense out of timeouts tonight? It's been spectacular. Dana Altman, Sean Miller, the masters of preparation, the masters of development. All the other coaches are trying to get there. Right can, now, can Oregon sustain, though? If Oregon wins, it'll be tied with Arizona atop the Pac-12 standings, and they only play once Arizona and Oregon, and the Ducks beat him by almost 30 as Pritchard misses. Look UCLA it. right now is 8-3, tied for fourth in the Pac-12. Lonzo just doesn't look sharp tonight. Surprising, shocking. Misses the three. There's Leaf. Oh, blew the putback attempt at point blank range. Wait a second. Come on, that's a very tough shot. Please. Here's Dorsey. When was the last time you made that shot? Never. Okay. That's why I'm sitting next to you. And I'm a foot shorter than you. 
but he's 6'10", and he's right at the rim. Got to put that back in, especially when you're down 14. He was four feet away, and, and Jordan Bell was right there, breathing down his neck. Great pass. Oh, reverse dunk by Leaf. Maybe that will ignite the crowd. It was a 19-point Oregon lead early in the game. UCLA fought back, got within five. Right now, trails by 12. This game's just getting started. Good. Let's let it go all night long. <laughs> let Dick Enberg come back. <laughs> he's retired, Bill. Sorry. He's not retired. He's just doing different stuff right now, including his fantastic play, McGuire, an eight-week run in Milwaukee. Dorsey fouled by Isaac Hamm. After the game, what do you just call him? It's a turtle, right? It's a terrapin. Okay, well, I just want to make sure that you weren't saying he was a turtle as Dylan Brooks gets the bounce on the three. Again, out of the timeout. That's 19 points now for Brooks. That Gil Kinney sitting right in front of Neil Everett. Hey, did you ever read Shoe Dog? Would you stop asking me that? Why? <laughs> It's like a, a, I just saw you three days ago, and I hadn't read it then. I hadn't started it as Welsh gets the turnaround. Well, he's only the most important man in the history of sport. You're the face of the Pac-12 Conference of Champions. Oregon's on top. They're winning this game. I don't want to talk about Phil Knight. I want to talk about number 10 versus number 5. As much as I respect Phil Knight, he's not a topic of conversation right now. He's a Hall of Fame member from the University of Oregon. We talked about Ann Myers. Here's Dorsey. Talked about Dick Enberg. Well, it is Dick Enberg night. That's why we talked about Dick and had him on. We got to talk about him every night. Here's Dorsey with one on the timer. Got it. And the lead is back to 15. Wow. Every time UCLA keeps roaring back, Tyler Dorsey, Jordan Bell, Dylan Brooks, they'll make a big turnaround momentum killing play that absolutely stymies this Bruin attack. Great pass. Come on, stick a fork in it, please. And now Dorsey, a three-on-one, fell the trailer, fouled, it won't go, but he'll shoot two as Alford picks up the purse. Zona of two seed, and you see got him down there too low. You know why he emails you seven times a day, right? Because the bracketology is emailing you. It can't change seven times in the same day before the games even start. Leave? No, but Welsh is there with the tip. Welsh is so good. The Bruins star freshmen, as good as they are, they're not exquisitely sharp tonight. The sharpness has belonged to the Oregon Ducks. Can they sustain, though? Both teams are 21 and 3 overall. UCLA lost here at home to Arizona. One at Kentucky. This would be its biggest Pac-12 win if the Bruins could come back from 13 down with 13 minutes to go. Three conference losses to all real good teams for UCLA. Oregon, Arizona, and SC. Uh, and they lost to Oregon at the buzzer as Dorsey forces it up with one on the shot clock. Ball clears. Horrendous possession. One of the 11 worst in school history for the Ducks. Here's Welsh. Got Bell off his feet. Puts it in. Thomas Welsh is the best shooter on this team. The best shooter on this team? The best shooter on this team. You know Bryce Alford's on the team, right? Yeah. Bryce makes threes. Oregon trying to calm the crowd down, which desperately wants to get into it. A full house here. Hardest ticket to get in a long time at Folly. Ennis in and out. Bell almost scored it in. Bell. But Hamilton with the rebound. A chance now for UCLA to get it to single figures. UCLA's right there. Oregon's got to keep scoring. That's their biggest problem. Hamilton foul. And the men of Oregon. This is an incredible book written by the history of Oregon athletics business everything and this is your copy right, right here you can have it. well I'm gonna read your book your autobiography but you sit first. next to me too much I'm, and I'm gonna read that first then no. I'll read shoe dog in 2020 and read this in 2024 well, what about Superman I got a whole list for you please Superman Superman Shep Gordon is said Superman the shoe, the shoe dog of Hollywood and entertainment Casey Benson that guy's a champion. He's been a super guy in conference play. He's the leading three-point shooter in the Pac-12 in league action. And it's back to a 13-point lead. Every time, the Ducks have responded. Well, Ball, no. And finally, Ani Bogu on the second try gets it to go. They take Jordan Bell out of the game, and the Bruins just have a field day playing like Karch Karai, Jim Mingus, Kent Steffis, Greg Lee, right at the rim, right at the net, send it back.
By the way, that camera that you saw, the camera shot, that's actually on ESPN3. You can actually watch my reaction to all of Gary's commentary. And Dylan Ennis is everywhere. You know, Dylan Ennis wasn't that good of a high school player. Here's Boucher from the corner. Loves that spot, but misfires there on an open look. Dana Altman's got to get Jordan Bell back in the game. There's Duck Hamilton for three. It's good! Please. That's his nickname. No he way. loves it. Joe Sullivan. Please, he's quick as can be. Here's Brooks. Gets it rejected by Ani Bogu. And now the Bruins with ball in transition. All the way. Got it. Seven straight points. The Bruins had a 14 to nothing run in the first half. I think the players are having trouble hearing Altman, who's calling out a play from the hash mark. It has to be visual. Who's going to create offensively? Who can finish? Dorsey, no. Ball tracks down the long rebound. Ball's got himself into the zone right now. He's moving quicker than everybody else. Here he is for three. Way off the mark. Look at Jordan Bell fight for that ball. Lonzo. That's what Dana Altman needs. And now he needs some creativity in this matchup. Head-to-head, -head. Lonzo Ball, Dylan Brooks. Ball has struggled, though. One of five from three. Does have eight rebounds, but just one assist for Ball, who comes in number two in the country in that category. What did Bill Russell say? The only thing that matters, who wins the game? Wow. Dorsey hanging. Wild shot. Honey Bogu with the rebound. Jordan Bell had a dunk, a layup. Gave it up. Didn't have his legs underneath him. I think he thought it was going to get rejected, too, by Ani Bogu, who was right there, sizing him up. Ani Bogu, what a talent, what a force. Just doesn't have the health right now. Beautiful pass, Lonzo. Leaf, no, Ani Bogu can't tip it in. This is a great lineup for Oregon right now. Boucher, Bell, Brooks up front. Benson, Dorsey out in front. No weaknesses whatsoever. Number 10, UCLA. Number 5, Oregon. Wow. Dorsey all the way to the rack. Tyler Dorsey with 19 points. Back to an 8-point lead. Tyler Dorsey's dad. Mom here tonight, Jared, Sonia. Tyler from Pasadena. Balls three. He's there! His second three-point basket. The closest the Bruins have been since late in the first half. Off of Dorsey's foot and out of bounds. Down. Lonzo Ball playing in front of Magic Johnson here tonight. Beautiful pass, TJ. Holiday. Not right now. And he's the leader on this Bruins team. He told me the seniors came to him in the summer and said, you be our leader, we will go as you go. Dave. And he's got 10 points now for UCLA, which is within five, under eight to play. Here's Bell trying to power his way over Leaf. And Ball with his ninth rebound. The Ducks having a horrific time trying to generate good shots. Alford, who had the hot hand in the first half. Here's Welsh on the baseline. It's a three-point game. It's the loudest Paulie Pavilion in 53 years. I was not the wife Marie right next to him. She's in the row behind him. The whole family has got that section there. Ducks need offense. Here's they need to fly with wings of their own. Be men of Oregon here. Here's Brooks. Off balance. Can't get the bounce, but a foul is called as Bouchiele. Again, three on lead. Here's Dylan Ennis. Hit a couple of big threes in the first half. He'll take another one. Off the mark. Look at Jordan Bell. To Boucher. And Boucher missed, but got it back. And then he's fouled and will shoot two. Hit the ball. Boucher gets the first. In the 1990 or 91 finals. Wow. Incredible. By the way, speaking of LeBron, you mentioned earlier, you and I will see LeBron next Wednesday. You and I, along with Dick Vitale, will do really? the Cavs and Pacers in Cleveland on ESPN next Wednesday. Really? Who told you that? You did.
Oh, Jordan Bell. And Bell took a shot to the head. Inadvertent shot from T.J. Lee. Has ESPN announced that yet? They just did. <laughs> they hadn't yet. <laughs> it's always a good idea to let the boss make the announcements, please. Come on, you, when you're on the mega cast, all you were doing was talking about that the entire game before anybody had put that out there. So I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> UCLA's defense, solid, individual, no gimmicks. Here's Brooks. Shot clock at one. Vincent has to fire. And there's Brooks for the offensive rebound. The Bruins just stood around. Ton of time, please. Yeah. Oregon has stopped playing offense. They're up against the shot clock literally every time. Lonzo Ball has taken over on the offensive end. Somebody from the Ducks have got to send these Bruins back home. They are home. Here's Benson with four on the shot clock. Now oh. Bell with two. Broken up. Lee with the intercept. Finds Holiday. Holiday. Beautiful hang and finish plus a foul. Tenacious. He can do everything. Good player. And he loves to play defense. Got a well, Magic was 6'9". I don't think I'd call him small. He was a point guard, but he's 6'9", 6 Have you... Everybody under 6'11 looks exactly the same. I can't hear you right now. What? I'm not complaining, man. Oregon by one. Well, Oregon standing around. They've lost their spark offensively. Here's Dorsey, 4-3. Too strong. Rebound. And then Bell, foul. Now right in the middle of everything. What was the biggest lead in this game? Oregon led by 19 early in the game. The Bruins with a chance to take the lead here. Alford sets up 4-3. Too strong, but there's Lee for the offensive rebound. All the long rebounds are going to UCLA as momentum is completely switched. Look at this. Ball wants Brooks. Right. Ball against Brooks. Here's the screen from Leaf. The roll. Leaf. Beautiful rotation. Boucher. And then... Ooh. That may have been tough. Last. Good look at it. Excellent official. Shot clock at nine. Here's Alford on the drop. Kicks it up. Three ball holiday. Bruins lead. Here's Brooks down the lane. Wild shot. Cleared by Ball. Lonzo Ball with 10 rebounds in the game. He's their point guard. Like Bill Russell, Magic, Steve Nash, play to win. That's the only thing that matters. E.K. Anibogu has been a huge factor for the Bruins. Leaf driving. Anibogu tucks it in. Four-point UCLA lead. Over the last eight minutes, it's a 20-3 run. Ducks call for time. From the dead, do they have another big run in them right now, or did they leave it on the freeway, the 405, trying to get here from Torrance prior to the game? Oregon has missed its last seven field goal tries. No points in almost four minutes. Will they go to Brooks, who hit that game-winning three? Who can create? Here's Dorsey. He's had a good night. But look at the defense by the Bruins. Shot clock at one. Dorsey gets it off, and it's a shot clock violation, but they don't. Whistle it dead. UCLA possession anyway. The refs can't hear anything. What? <laughs> the Ducks are wasting too much time early on in the shot. I throw it down, E.K. Oh, what a rejection by Bell. But they call 23 on the season at the line. And he buries the first. It is yet to come over. Missed the second one. Ennis fights for it with Boucher. Oregon ball. How many fouls on Jordan Bell? Soul train. JB. Just one foul on Bell. Here's to be okay. Here's Pritchard driving. Wild shot, but it drops, and Oregon is back within three. That was a perfect shot. Don't show wild on that. That's his game. His game is three-point shooting. Almost a turnover by UCLA, and a bad decision by Holiday. Now ball fouled on the UCLA. Two minutes to go here. That's four fouls on Pritchard. He stays out there trying to defend Alford. Alford fires away. Can't knock it down. T.J. Leaf is such a great rebounder. Almost had that one. Brooks 
is open. 4-3. In and out. Look at Jordan Bell. <laughs> that guy is so fierce, so tough, so tireless. The shots are not falling in the second half for Oregon. They're at 33% this half after shooting 50% in the first half. They've scored, they've scored 23 points total in the second half. That will not get it done. Nearing a minute to go. Bruins by three. Ennis charged with defending Lonzo Ball. Shot clock at four. Ball breaks him down. Gets to the rim. Lonzo Ball has taken over the second half, but Pritchard comes back, trains a three to make it a two-point game. Lonzo Ball, flown like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Muhammad Ali has spent a ton of time here on campus. Albert Einstein spoken here. Bill Russell spoken here. Martin Luther King has spoken here. And right now, those Oregon Ducks trying with everything they have to make the grandest statement in their school's history. They go back to Ball. Ball against Ennis, shot clock at eight. Ball steps back, long three, of course! Have expanded their game over the course of their career like Magic Johnson did. Will go for the steal and then foul as Brooks re game. Whoa. Holiday missed it. Oregon ball, no timeouts, down three. Three-pointer Dorsey. No good. Oh, Bell went for the stuff and he was fouled. He couldn't get 15 rebounds in the game. And he gets the bounce. It's a two-point. The Long Beach native. One-point game. Face. Nothing but net. Ball will inbound. Here's Alford. They don't want to foul him. They want to force the pass. There it is. Can they get it? Holiday. They foul him. He just missed the front end of one. Got the first one. Holiday gets them both. Again, Oregon Hawkins left. Got to get a three here. Aaron Holiday. Whoa, great change of pace. Pritchard with seven. Five seconds left. Bell. Terrible offensive set. Pritchard for three. Short. 